Any trick to this, Doyle? No one knows. Now the others made it, right? At least some of them. In this episode, we'll be considering the wormhole used by the crew of the Endurance to travel to another galaxy. So what is a wormhole? I'll show you how it works. So they say you want to go from here to there, but it's too far, right? Mm -hmm. So a wormhole bends space like this, so you can take a shortcut through a higher dimension. A wormhole is a shortcut through space which allows the user to travel large distances in a short amount of time. Ludwig Flom first hypothesized the existence of wormholes in 1916, but it wasn't until 1962 that the physicist John Wheeler discovered that wormholes can exist naturally in our universe. Unfortunately, he also discovered that natural wormholes are incredibly unstable and collapse as soon as they form, making any travel through them impossible. In fact, they collapse so quickly that not even light is fast enough to make it through. In Interstellar, the wormhole discovered near Saturn had been open for over 48 years. Cooper mentions that a wormhole is not a naturally occurring phenomenon. But a more scientific statement is that a stable wormhole can't occur naturally. However, in the film, NASA never claims that the wormhole is natural, but instead suggests another civilization is artificially holding the wormhole open for the doomed citizens of Earth to escape. In order for a wormhole to be held open, the force responsible for its inevitable collapse must be halted, and that force is gravity. So in order to keep a wormhole open, one must be able to control gravity itself. Natural wormholes form when two black holes align in fifth dimensional space and momentarily merge, creating a shortcut. In Romley's simplified two-dimensional example, two black holes need to align where the two ends of the paper are touching each other. The black holes then punch through three-dimensional space to form a connection between the two layers of two-dimensional space. As Romley explains, the example simply needs to be scaled up by dimension to match our own universe. Black holes punch through five-dimensional space to form a connection between the two layers of three-dimensional space. But because of the immense gravity of black holes, the wormhole collapses as soon as it forms. The only way to hold a wormhole open is to repel the forces of gravity causing its collapse. So how do you repel gravity? To do that, we need some exotic dancers. Wait, no, sorry, what I meant to say was that we need some exotic matter. Exotic matter is any matter that does not behave normally. For example, enough matter in one place will create a gravitational field capable of attracting other objects. Exotic matter may actually repel other objects, creating an anti-gravity field. Unbelievably, our current understanding of the laws of physics allows for and predicts the existence of exotic matter with negative mass. In order to hold a wormhole open like the one seen in Interstellar, it would need to be lined with enough exotic matter to prevent its collapse. Unfortunately, after three decades of work, researchers still don't know whether even this solution would be possible. We still lack the necessary understanding and technology. Also, keep in mind that the solution of finding and stabilizing a natural wormhole still doesn't get you the wormhole featured in Interstellar, because you'd have no control over where the wormhole goes. Producing an artificial wormhole that connects two desired locations is a monumentally more difficult challenge. This would require the ability to create black holes, manipulate three-dimensional space, and map five-dimensional space. That way, you could create two black holes in three-dimensional space in order to connect them in five-dimensional space. And the wormhole could connect to useful locations such as our solar system and the Gargantua system. Maybe an advanced civilization would be able to open a wormhole, but for now, it's speculation at best. So, the wormhole in Interstellar. Science or science fiction? <laughs> Oh, 
monsters alive. Unforgivable. Blinded me with sun!